stealing the king's silver. Stealing the king's silver? God be with you, Teresa. I feed a whole family with these two hands, while yours are... What are you two quarrelling about here, for the love of God? This pipsqueak here claims studying is as hard a job as working in the stables. I most certainly did not, because study is of course much harder work than mucking out a bit of horse manure. See? That's what I'm talking about, and yet it's as clear as day. Hang on, what's as clear as day? That study is as hard as mucking out stables, if not harder. The man who doesn't work with his hands is an idler and a good-for-nothing. Am I wrong? I'd like to ask you a couple of questions before answering. You're a scholar. What are you doing in Scalitz? I'm on my way to Sassau with letters. This ingrate here is stabling my horse overnight before I continue my journey. What does your work involve, student? I'm no student, but a baccalaureus. Having completed the Trivium of the Faculty of Liberal Arts in the University of Prague, grammar, rhetoric, and dialectics are my work. While this yokel wouldn't be capable even of learning Latin, Father arranged that I will serve as a teacher in Kuttenberg for two years before returning to the university to attend the Quadrivium. To teach and be taught, that is real work. You serve Sir Radzik at the castle, don't you, Master Groom? Aye, and Sir Radzig is very pleased with my work. I can be rightly proud of what I do, and I bring home a nice wage too. The children are fed, and the wife can buy herself a nice scarf from time to time. I'm satisfied with my lot. How many people can say that? What's so hard about your job, Master Groom? That's real work. Not like this parasite here does. On my feet from dawn till dusk, feeding, mucking out. Grooming. By evening, I'm dead on my feet. I'm doing something real, see? Something that makes sense. Horses are needed for work, for the lords, for riding out, even in times of war. And someone has to care for those horses. All this good-for-nothing can do is mouth off. But he'd never be able to do a real job. That's all I need to know. You're both right. But not one of you has a grain of sense. Work is work, whether it's done with your hands or your heart. Ah, rhetoric worthy of Socrates himself, and out of the mouth of a woman. I bow to you, good maiden. The professors of Prague could learn a thing or two from you. Are you saying this good-for-nothing here who has to beg for his beer at the tavern is my equal? But to hell with it. I won't argue. Johonka, what's up? I was asking around for you. There's something we have to talk about. Are you going to the dance this evening? I'd like to go and have a look, if I have time for it. Why? Do you want to borrow my dress? No, no, nothing like that. I've got a dress, but I don't want to end up dancing on my own, if you know what I mean. Sorry, I don't. I want to go with Matthias. So, what's the problem? Just go and tell him. You've had your eye on him since the Harvest Festival. Surely you must have noticed by now. He hasn't. I'm at a loss what to do.
So you'd like Matthias to take you to the dance, but you don't want to tell him? That's right. How in heaven's name do you want to do it then? Easy. You're going to steal his lucky dice. What? How is that supposed to help, for Christ's sake? If you can get your hands on it without him noticing, he'll be looking everywhere for it. He'll be wandering around saying to himself, Where did I put that damned dice? And then I'll turn up. God be with you, Matthias. You didn't by any chance lose your dice. And he'll say, I, Johanka, I did. Where on earth did you find it? Oh, I found it near the tavern. You know there's going to be a dance there this evening. And then he'll finally get the message. Oh, the dance. Yes. Johanka, wouldn't you like to go with me? Of course. I'd love to go with you, Matthias. Thank you for asking. Then he'll take me by the hand and he'll look... <clears throat> Never mind that. Um... Well, that's how it's going to help, more or less. You painted a very pretty picture, no doubt. But do you think it'll really work? I'm absolutely sure it will. All right, then. I'll help you. Thank you, Tess. Bring the dice to me as soon as you have it. Hang on, though. How am I supposed to find it? He was saying at the tavern yesterday that he keeps it in his trunk when he's not going to play. Go and see Fritz first. I heard he's always got some lockpicks, whatever he wants them for. Anyway, no doubt he can show you how to use one. Me? Pick locks? Yohonka, aren't you going a bit too far? Well, then maybe you can get hold of his key somehow. But whatever you do, don't get caught. And not a word to Matthias, for the love of God. God be with you. How are things, Matthew? Teresa? It's unusual to see you here. Come to see the eighth wonder of the world, have you? <laughs> what would that be now? Fritz. Working. Now that's a sight you don't see every day. <laughs> I'd say that's the pot calling the kettle black. You don't look too busy yourself. Why overdo it? Jesus was a carpenter too, but how many beams do you think he made, eh? Matthew! That's blasphemy. No, oh, it's only a harmless joke. You don't have to look at me like the parish priest did at Kunesh, you know, when he spewed over his pew. Ugh, don't even remind me. Well, I'd better be going. Work to do, you know. Don't ever do it now. My God, what happened to you? You look like you've been assaulted. Listen, Fritz. I hear you know something about opening locks without a key. Sure. All you have to do is charge at the door. Shoulder first. I don't want to break down a door. I want to pick a lock. Ah, you want a lock pick then? Shh, not so loud. Well, I can give you some. But you know what they say. Not even a pig grunts for free. That's the stupidest thing I ever heard. Who says that? Ah... Uh, Mostly me. And everyone thinks it's fucking clever, so bugger off. What's new, Fritz? I don't know. Oh, actually, I do know. There's going to be a dance this evening. Are you going? Maybe. I've got a lot to do still. They say it's going to carry on tomorrow, too. And they'll be roasting a pig. Can't miss that. So I heard. I wonder how come Sir Radzig allowed it. No, it wasn't his lordship's idea. It was Master Faithfar's. Master Tobias? Why would he do that? I don't know. Maybe he just wants to show off his wealth. 
I'd have roast pig and dancing every evening if I had his coin. Hey, Fritz. How about giving me a couple of lock picks for free, eh? After all, we've known each other since we were little. All right, but just this time. If you break them, don't expect to get more for free. Just two? You said a couple, didn't you? Sore knees, backache, belly ache. Whatever the ailment, I've got the remedy. Hey, is someone there? May the Lord watch over you, Tess. kitchen, as well as health-giving decoctions. What was that noise? Is there something you need? What the hell was that? Good God, you look terrible. Did someone attack you? Tell me, Matthias. What do you think of your hunker? Your hunker? Yeah, she's a nice girl. She helped the lads and me out of a few scrapes. Actually, she's always been good to us. Why do you ask? Your hunker's a very nice girl, all right. Wouldn't you like to go and have a beer with her? Beer? You know your hunker doesn't drink. I don't know what you're up to, but I'm not interested. I suppose you'd like to go to the dance this evening? If you have someone to go with, you could ask your hunker. If you do, I'll dance with you too. <laughs> no offense, but if I wanted to dance with you, then I'd invite you, not your hunker. Besides, I don't want to ask anyone. I'd rather just get drunk with the lads. Make sure you ask her to that dance. Otherwise, I'll tell everyone... I saw you kissing Fritz in the barn. Oh, yeah? The fellas put you up to this, didn't they? Let's make a fool out of Matthias. He'll go to your hunker like an idiot, and she'll send him off with his tail between his legs. Ha, ha. I was just curious. That's all. What the fuck? Must be the wind. Who's there? Answer me. Jerry's. Good day to you. What do you need? About Matthias. Yes? Tell me everything. I've brought you his dice. Hey. I knew you'd do it! Thanks! This is great! I'll bring it to him. Keep your fingers crossed for me! Come right up, good people. Herbs for your kitchen, as well as health-giving decoctions. Come right up, good people. Herbs for your kitchen, as well as health-giving decoctions. God be with you, Matthias. Listen, I found this dice. 
I believe it's yours. My dice? But how? I thought it was in my trunk. No, I found it outside. It was lying on the ground by the tavern, where the dance is going to be this evening. That's odd. I could have sworn I put it away. Can I have it back? People will be dancing all around there. They'd trample it into the ground for sure. It's a good thing I spotted it. Although, I don't suppose I'll be dancing this evening. No one's asked me. I see. Uh, the dice, please? I'd put on a very pretty dress. And after the dance, I'd walk home with the boy who danced with me, if anyone asked me. I'll take you, all right? And you'll give me my dice back? Really? You'd take me? Yeah. All right. Thanks. I'll see you this evening. Right. Sure. God be with you. Wait! What about my dice? Oh, for the love of God. Teresa, what are you playing at? Who's there? Mother of God. Sore knees, backache, bellyache, whatever the other... God be with you, Teresa.